Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the United Club at San Francisco Airport. Now this particular United Club is near the F gates at SFO and I thought I might do a review about it. But anyways, let's get into it. So once you enter the lounge, you'll see this really nice 3D clock and there's this globe painting. It's like a circular shape surrounding it. It's a pretty beautiful entrance, I would say. And past the front desk and past the lounge entrance, you'll find plenty of comfortable seating. Something to mention about this lounge is that it features a lot of seating that's very comfortable. The only bad thing about it is that the seats kind of show their age and they look a bit old, like they're brown, kind of a brown that looks more old maybe a little bit of blue, and there are some tables, and there was some charging throughout the lounge. There were also some great views, and there was also a magazine rack. Throughout the lounge, you can also find some flavored water and some fruit. In terms of food options, this lounge definitely did okay. Definitely not amazing, like no a la carte dining, but there was buffet, which did feature some like cold meats, a few veggies, there were also some crackers, some cheese cubes, and there was also a drink station, which did feature a soda machine and a coffee machine, both of which worked pretty well. And the bathroom, it was also okay. It was definitely not anything like the new United Club in Newark. Work. There were no shower suites. There were a lot of stalls, and the sinks were all right. Look, on the bright side, at least there was a bathroom. I've been to one United Club where there was no bathroom at all, and this was another United Club I went to in Newark, and at least it did have one. Something else to mention is that there are some printers, and there's also a workspace with some tables and some desks where you could get some work done. Now, I obviously didn't go there because I didn't need to get work done or any of that, but still, it's pretty convenient, and, and if you need to get work there... At least it beats sitting in the public area of the lounge where the main seating area and arrangement is. I was here for about, for quite some time, I'm actually maybe a little over an hour, maybe way over that. I honestly can't remember now, but I was definitely there for quite a while, and I was very fine with the seating. It was alright for the time that I was there. And something else to highlight about this lounge is the fact that that not only is the is the seating and is it like the bathrooms or any of that stuff that's old about the lounge, the lounge just gives you a feeling of it being one, a United Club that's on the older side. It's still a really nice lounge. If you have the time, it's worth it, but it's definitely on the older side. I don't think United is planning to, to redo this particular United Club, but in my opinion, I would say that they should just a bit. But it's really not that bad if you're there for a few hours or not. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.